So I'm going to be sharing with you 10 courses that you can study right now in 2024 and in 2025 and have a high chance of getting a job when you finish. A lot of people make the mistake of picking courses that are trending in their country while their goal is to work and study in their destination country. So this video is to make it easier for you to pick not just a good school but a good course that is trending in the course your destination and you have a higher chance of getting a job i've shared this with in the past when i was still in the uk and people who pick some of the courses are suggested some of them are getting jobs even though they have not finished their courses so this is my hope for you in this video i'm going to be sharing these research based courses that you can study in canada and have opportunity of getting the postgraduate work permit and also have the ability to access funding. So make sure you watch these videos to the very end because I'll be sharing tips along the way and you don't want to miss it. So let's get into it. Hi everyone, if you're seeing this face for the first time, my name is Linda Eze. Here I share information on how you can work, study and thrive abroad. If you find the information I share here useful, please like this video and please join the family by subscribing because that way you are encouraging me and this channel as well. So let's get into it. Number one on my list is computer systems technician. This particular course is under STEM courses. So STEM courses stands for science, technology, engineering and mathematics. So any course that is under this, whether you want to study in Canada or the United States, gives you the ability to get the post work permit and it's usually longer, especially if it is the United States. So when you're choosing courses and it's under a STEM course, you are increasing your chances of getting funding and also getting work at the end of your studies okay so this computer science technician is a diploma level course that means you can get into this course with your secondary school certificate if in that your certificate you pass some of the courses like mathematics and all of that and this particular course is also eligible for postgraduate work permits in canada and you have access to international students funding i'm going to be sharing the example of the school where you can study this course to stay with me so this particular course takes two years to complete and if you want to study in canada you can actually get into this course for the end of the year that starts in september i would say that is very close where they also have a winter quarter which starts in january if you miss any of those two then next year is also a good opportunity for you so you want to check out this particular course number two on my list is mechanical technician cnc precision machining this particular course is also a stem course and you are eligible for postgraduate work permit if you study this course you also have access to international students funding if you get into the program that i'm going to share with you in the school that i'm going to share with you in this video and this course as well is a two years program and they have the fall intake which starts in september and winter intake take we start in january so if you're interested and you are eligible you can get into this course as fast as possible number three on my list is electromechanical engineering technician this particular course is also a stem course obviously it's a two years program and they have the fall intake and winter intake it's eligible for international students funding the entrance eligibility is secondary school certificate and you need to pass certain courses obviously that is needed for this program so this particular program is one of those programs that when you finish you have a high chance of getting an actual job not just getting the postgraduate work permit but also getting a good job that had a good career you know progression potential so that is something that you want to look into four on my list is construction engineering technician that is another two years program that is a stem course you have access to international students funding if you apply to the school and their entrance is also very very friendly if you have a secondary school education i believe if you are in sciences and you have your math and all of that this you are also eligible for this they also require english proficiency and the minimum i believe is six and again is that you can apply for winter intake or fall intake that means september intake or january intake so this particular course is also a course that is you know eligible for postgraduate work permits in canada so this school is also well researched and 
you know a lot of international students are able to get a job when they finish five on my list though not a stem course but it's also a trending course that you can have a high chance of getting a job when you finish you are eligible to get the postgraduate work permit and it is also a diploma level course that you can complete in two years you need an english proficiency for this one as well but you also can get in with your secondary school certificate this course is called hospitality and tourism management so this particular course is also trending you also have access to international students funding in the school that I'm going to talk about at the end of this list so this is something that you can also consider if you have interest in tourism and hospitality six on my list is health information management this one is actually one of the best courses in this list not only can you transition in other courses like if you want to be a nurse or something like that or if you want to continue in the health sector this is one of the best courses both in the United States and in Canada so if you're interested in health courses health information management is something to consider it's a two years program diploma level program you're eligible for postgraduate work permits in Canada and you also have access to international students funding and again you can get in with your secondary school certificates especially if you pass certain courses that they actually need based on the school that you're applying to and again in this you also need english proficiency and it has a low minimum okay so make sure you check this out seven on my list is early childhood education so my teachers this is for you if you're interested in early childhood education which is really one of those selfless courses that people can actually study the interesting thing is as is a two years diploma level program is eligible for postgraduate work permit you have a high chance of getting a job when you finish because yes teachers are highly needed in most countries these days and again is that you also have access to international students funding and you need education like a secondary school um, level education to get into this program they need you to have a high proficiency in english of course but their minimum is still six so this is something that is for IELTS. they also have like pte tofu there are so many options that is for all the courses that i've actually listed not just IELTS is needed like you pte is better for you or easier for you if it is tofu live it is then you can also go for it okay so they accept different english um, requirements for this program so it's definitely one of those best courses that you can study in canada eight of my list is also in hospitality hospitality like hotel management this particular one is also a, a trending course a lot of people might say oh maybe this course you are not going to get a job and stuff like that abroad tourism is a huge huge thing for so many of these um, developed countries so if you're interested in hospitality again it's a two years program level um, diploma level program and you are eligible for postgraduate work permits it's also eligible for international students funding you can also get in with your secondary school certificate and it also requires a form of english proficiency um, proof which you can get in so many ways like ielts tofl pts um, pte and all of that so this is definitely a program to consider nine on my list is carpentry and renovation technician this particular course is under trades and trades is one of the trending you know uh, highly sorted skills in developed countries like usa australia canada in canada this particular course is eligible for postgraduate work permit so if you want to study in canada this course is something that you want to consider it's eligible for postgraduate work permit you can get into this course with secondary school certificate definitely consider this particular course because it's a it's a very good one for canada 10 on my list is office administration health services this is also a diploma level course two years course and it is eligible for postgraduate work permits you have the ability to apply for international students funding and also you can get into this program with your secondary school and it is also interesting that this is under the health sector so any course that is under the health sector will you know give you this ability to have access to like you know 
transition it to other head courses if at the end of the day this is not what you want but this particular course is also a diploma course that you can definitely consider if you want to study abroad the bonus one is food and beverage management that particular course is something to consider is a diploma level course that um the the number of years to finish is two years as well is eligible for postgraduate work permit you can get into this program with secondary school certificate and as well you have access to international students loan funding depending on the school you apply to and this particular course as well requires English proficiency that you can get in so many ways another course you want to check is the behavioral science technician this particular course is something that you definitely want to check out. It's a two years program and it has a high career progression potential because behavioral science is under mental health for in the United States under mental health in the UK is the same is eligible for postgraduate work permit you definitely have a high chance of getting a job after completing this course and you can transition into nursing you can transition into you know mental health easily in this course so this is one of the courses that you definitely want to consider if you want to study in Canada so the company that is currently giving international students loan to study in Canada is called Passage. They have partnered with George Brown University which is actually the university that has all these programs that I talked about today. They partnered with this particular school. If you apply to this school and you get in they will fund part of your education um, a, a huge part of the school fees and also help you with the living cost which is actually cool because a lot of international students they have you know one of the thing is not just paying school fees but also your your um your living expenses you know eating feeding accommodation and the rest of them so they are willing to fund both your tuition and your living costs they have a partner with a lot of schools not just the george Bryan university but they also have partnership with other schools so even if you are interested in any of these courses but you don't get into this particular George Brown University, you can decide to get into any of their partner schools as well. When you get admission in any of their partner schools, you can also have access to international students loan. So this, I believe, is actually one of the coolest things that is happening to international students these days, you know, having access to funding. So you want to definitely check out um, Passage and also check out these courses and also check out George Brown University. When you get admission in any of the partner schools, they will give you a letter that will help you when you are applying for your student visa. Okay, and if you have questions in the process, they are also willing to answer your questions and you have like full autonomy on how much you also want to collect from them. So they are not going to force you to take everything if you have some money. A lot of students have some money, but they don't have all the money so that is where they actually come in so they will help you out to raise the funding and also support you in terms of letter that you use to apply for your study permit okay so and once you have a study permit some of these um universities in canada you can actually transition to other courses you can also get um postgraduate work permit so they have partnered with actually some of the beautiful schools in canada they have partnered with the university of toronto university of waterloo um, carlton university western university um university of uh, queen's university university of Alberta, university of calgary university of british columbia just check them out check the schools check these courses check it in other schools and once you get admission they will help you out a lot a lot a greater degree and if you have been following this channel i always recommend that you get as much funding as possible especially the ones that you don't have to pay back but if you don't have access to that that is scholarships so combining scholarships loans and personal finance is one of the best ways you can actually do this so if you have personal finance to, to fund your education perfect if you have some personal finance but you don't have all the money then this is where the loan comes in and if you also uh, are considering loan it's also good to also consider you know other funding in terms of scholarship that you can get so you're applying for loan you're applying for scholarship so at the end of the day you know that the amount of money you are taking as loan is not going to be overwhelming for you so the more personal finance you have the more scholarship you have will be very very helpful then you can make it up with a loan and thank god we have access to some of these companies that are coming out these days and are helping international students okay guys so to encourage all my viewers i am also going to be offering free sessions for anyone who applies to any of these courses and you have questions in the process just send me a message tell me that the course that you have applied to the stage that you are in the application process and questions that you have and if you need um 
sessions i'm also uh, willing to offer that for free and that's for you who is watching this video okay so i wish you all the very best and i hope you get on this studying abroad is one of the best things that you can actually do for yourself not only will it give you the opportunity to experience another country but it will broaden everything about you in terms of your experience in terms of educational exposure and in terms of job and it also help you your family members and even the country where you are coming from if you found this video helpful in any way please give it a thumbs up for many more people to see it subscribe to my channel a lot of you actually watch my my videos over and over my analytics says you have, have returning viewers but so many of them end up forgetting to subscribe or i'm not sure what's holding you from subscribing please subscribe to my channel like this video share with someone today and in my next video i'm going to be sharing with you one year programs that are also eligible for postgraduate work permits you don't want to miss that so subscribe so that when i drop that video i'm going to make it at the end of the way today sometime today and i'm also going to post that video one year program eligible for postgraduate work permit and i believe you can get into that program as well you have a high chance of getting jobs in those areas as well so stay tuned for that video and i will see you in the next video bye bye